If you're a North Sider of Chicago, Illinois, you've probably heard mutterings, if you've never eaten there, about Lucky's Sandwich Company. Mm -hmm. It's been on the television. I sure hope you heard of it. Have you seen it on the boob tube? <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. All the important food groups are represented. Meat, bread, french fries, and eh, vegetables. Today, we're gonna go somewhere where Adam Richman has been before, where so many Cubs fans have been before. Or I and you have been before. before. We're heading there for the biggest sandwich on the menu that we've heard of, the Big Kahuna. It's heaven on earth, it's heaven in my mouth, it's about to be heaven in my butthole. Come with us, friends. What's up, curls? Dude, this is so heavy. Dude, you getting swole? I lift things up and put them down. Getting freaking swole. Sandwich swole to Big, Big Kahuna. What does that translate to in white culture? Big ass hamburger sandwich. <laughs> Two big kahunas. Kahuna. Kahunas. I got some big kahunas. <laughs> Two big kahuna sandwiches from Lucky's Sandwich Company. I hear they got some tasty burgers. Here in Wrigleyville, acquired jump cut. You need your tray? Yeah, please. Thank you so much. I need my tray from Morgan. Slides right up on there. Dude, I wish we had a, a scale. I wish this was a scale. Okay, we're rolling second angle. Okay. Oh, dude, look at that. You kidding me? <laughs> that is the large sandwich. It's breaking the thing, look. Oh my God. Oh, please break the thing. Fall over. Fall over. Close. Oh, man. Got a bunch of mess here. Mastered? Mastered? I don't, I don't know how to speak. Mastered and Alright, Let's see what we got. I like when it's in these like... It's in like a meat package. Yeah, I love that. They actually have masking tape. Ooh, good looking fries. Oh my god. Dude. Look at this. So if you guys haven't... If you're not familiar with Lucky's, it's Ben on Man versus Food. Adam Richmond tore this place up back in the day. Dude, look at that. That's, so what do we got? This must be like some sort of lettuce. Looks like sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, obviously tomato. Yeah, look at that thing. Are you gonna eat that? The tomato, absolutely not. <laughs> and then I was gonna do a flip here. Flip her on her back. And then we can show what's on this side. Great idea. Oh, that's where the bacon and the and there's oh, two. Oh God, there's a lot of beef on there. patties that. in there. Dude, it's like a hamburger, you weren't kidding. Yeah, what a, oh, and french fries are on it. Oh my Sick. god, I didn't know that. And coleslaw, you were right. Oh, this is awesome. It's not sauerkraut, it's coleslaw and fries on the sandwich. And it's a uh, mango habanero sauce on it. Oh my god. Like, dude, doesn't that sound like it's right up our alley? Sounds like we are li we live in that alley. Beef, bacon, fries, mango habanero. And you can smell that mango habanero, it's smelling good. Give me that fry. Mm -hmm. This thing is literally like not even able to... Withstand that? I might need to grab my other tray yeah it, uh, this and not because this isn't great it's because this thing is for like a mcdonald's hamburger this is not for a local behemoth yeah this thing's too beastly like you, you are not kidding like, right jeez that's just some ultimate size ultimate frisbee bro you want to throw the disc play some hack yeah rock that scuba i like how they just use traditional white bread yeah, right? That's not something you see very often. Dude, just straight up beast mode on this. This is the Marshawn Lynch of freaking sandwiches. I was about to say that as soon as you said beast mode. I'm like, you know what um, Pete Carroll wouldn't have done if he had this on his uh, roster? Wouldn't have thrown it. He wouldn't have thrown it. Mm -mm. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Well, you guys are in for a treat today. I'm not envious of you that you have to watch us eat this and you can't have it. Because unless you live close to Chicago, you're done here. <laughs> the Big Kahuna from Lucky's. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. That is good. Oh, so many flavors. Yeah, there is a lot. The juiciness of the meat mixed with the super cheese whizzed potatoes in there, which is the fries. Mm. And then you get that coolness from the coleslaw and the tomato. Mmm. 
Dude, this is really good. I just made eye contact with that guy as I was biting it. It had to be kind of a bummer for him. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Dude, how do these flavors combine to taste that good? How do you put it on like regular white bread? Yeah, that's crazy. That's ballsy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that like, that should be a burger. It should be on like a hamburger bun. It works without it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? I like the white bread because it's like what you look like. That is reason number one. Right. Reason number two, almost no bread flavor. Yeah, I know. It's literally just it's there just to like. keeping it together. Yeah, it's like just to hold the stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Dude, do I like coleslaw? I love coleslaw. I hope you do. I know you're not normally into it. This is really good. This is what coleslaw always tastes like. No, it's better with other flavors. By itself, it kind of gives people the heebie-jeebs. Mmm. Well, I do want more mango habanero. I want it to be like dripping off mm -hmm. of it. I want to feel some heat. Think of all the bread that lost out to this bread oh, to be sad. qualified to be for this sandwich. They probably tried stuff and were like, nope, 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 finally. Mm-hmm. Holy smokes. This is so good. If you're in town for a Wrigley's game, I mean, we're right down the street. What are they called? The Chicago Wrigley's? Yeah, what I say? If you're in town for Wrigley's game. Oh, that was yeah. awesome. This is a little bit more expensive. We got the biggest sandwich they make. Yeah, this is a little pricey. This is $13, but you only need half of this. Mm -hmm. We should have gotten one. We're mm -hmm. stupid. I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Most of our sandwiches are under 10 bucks. And I've had other sandwiches of theirs. Thumbs up. They're great. Mm -hmm. mm. Dude, Wrigley is right there. It's a crazy a 90 second walk to the park. We're here in a non Cubs game. Easily, Dan Marino could throw a Vortex football there. New record over 100 yards. If you want to smash your own record, you want the new Vortex Mega Flight. Easily. Michael Vick would throw it over. Mm hmm. That's Michael Vick right there, number seven. I told you, man. Look at that. Oh, oh no. No. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> He didn't do that. Into a dog hut, house, home, casa, jail. That wasn't the way that things were supposed to be. He paid his dues. Did he? How I care about animals. The NFL is so quick to forget. Mm-hmm. Well, American football fans are quick to forget. That's what I meant. The NFL will remember as soon as you stop watching, they'll remember real quick once that money goes down. But if you can keep making the money, right. then get out there and make money for them. Right. Well, I think our history is that we do. Do you see how many carries Ray Rice had the other night? None, because he doesn't play. Do you think when Ray Rice gets in an elevator now, he's like, oh God, like he's got PTSD? No, I bet he's more like, oh wait, let me just get another alert about how much money's in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the stairs. Ugh. This is too good. Yeah, I'm definitely not not eating that second half. Mm -hmm. That was, no way. I don't even know. Oh my God, mm. really full. Look at this. I feel like this half is bigger. This is what I would have to eat. Look at it, it's next to his head. There's no way, right? Fries are great. Yeah. Fries on a sandwich. Why don't more places do that? Such a good move. Lucky's has figured it out. It's another one of those episodes I feel like I don't have anything comedic to say. I'm just impressed. Yeah, the whole time I'm just like into the food. <laughs> I'm just excited about eating it. Where in the world? Carmen San Diego. Are those emails from the Chicago Tourism Department going, you guys have created better buzz about this city than anybody else. Here's a s just a bag of money and the keys to the city and a Chris Bryant jersey. <laughs> Six months, it's all we need. The emails shall be flowing. A place where the beer flows like wine. Out of five, Adam Richmond's. How many Adam Richmond's do you give the Big Kahuna sandwich from Lucky's Sandwich Company in Wrigleyville, Chicago, Illinois, 6065. Scrub, scrub, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. And you'll be helping take a bite out of crime. I want it, I want it. I'm gonna give it. There you go. Four digits into our uh, zip code. That's what I'm gonna give it. A five. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, a seven? Look <laughs> how stupid I am. Dude, right? Damn, a perfect score. I think so. That was so freaking good. I know it was expensive, but that was a lot of food. That was really freaking good. Yeah, I mean, it's, you, that was a phenomenal sandwich. There's no part of the sandwich that's not catching up to its counterpart. Yeah. The, the fries are great. Coleslaw is amazing. There's not, not too much vegetables. There's a lot of beef on that. And somehow that bread holds it all together. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. Oh, that was good. I'm also gonna give that sandwich a five. Big ol' five spot. You just can't not. You can't not. You can't not stop, won't. Double negatives, triple negatives, bring them all. I want negatives. The only thing that's not negative is my taste buds. That sandwich. What does that say up there? Marijuanasignups.com? MedicalMarijuanaSignups.com. Wrigleyville trying to get some pot dispensaries? Oh yeah. Eat it, bitch, it's always good.
Just one today. We've been opening a lot of packages. Trying to space it out a little bit more. Oh, they put the note on top. That was nice. Which one should I open first? I think it's probably hot sauce. Oh, I, get it. I bet you it is. Whoa. Whoa. Sling blade. It's going to make us talk funny. Kajans? Kajan. California Cajuns? Johns. Cajun. Kajan. Kajan. Cajun's Fiery Food Company Reaper Sling Blade Hot Sauce. Sling blade. I hear the commotion up there in the house. We have raised the bar for heat, surpassing the Butch T. Trinidad Scorpion. Over a four year period, Smokin' Ed's Carolina Reaper has averaged 1.474 million on the Scoville scale. You should give that the Smokin' Ed Curry. Sling blade voice. Sling blade. Some folks called it a slang blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. Look at this freaking bottle, dude. We normally have our knives, but we're in the car. You get it. You sound like a, like a demented Pokemon. Get that. All right. It's looking big. Holy F. Oh, the Yucca Tacos! Sweet! It's all chili habaneros. Oh, damn. Dude. This is El Yucateco, I think one of the best hot sauce brands oh, in the world. I use this on tacos, the, the, the regular really hot one, mm -hmm. not the whatever. This is triple extra hot sauce. Dude, the Mayans did it right. Dude, they did until they like killed all their people. Yeah, that part they did wrong, but some, the heat, this, they did right. Who sent us this beautiful set? Hi guys, you two are amazing. I know. Thank you for the entertaining videos you create. You're welcome. Also, she used two in the right way and that always I like. Thank God. I hope you enjoy the sauce. This is one of the sauces I own and hope you two enjoy. From Alejandra Cervantes. Lexi Leo! Yeah, she's a dog. Oh, dude. Lexi, another patron who just keeps sending us she's stuff. She's a boss, dude. Oh and my she God. sent us so two note, one note for each. Yeah. And the other was, hi, Sean and Corey. Not many words for this one. I hear this one is pretty dang hot. Dude, oh she's God. freaking awesome. She's Lexi, like, thank you so much. Seriously, one of my faves. You're so freaking cool, Lexi. We have the best fans. We do. God, what a... Dude, we are gonna be roughed up in the bubble our, region. Yeah, our bee holes are about to be wow bleed holes. Four, dude, I'm never. We're never gonna run out. No, hopefully not. We'll have mukbangs for life. Become a true sixer of this series by watching every single video. If you got a couple extra shekels every month, throw them at us and we're just going to keep growing. We got a bunch of fun stuff planned for the future. Yeah, we're trying to get back into this whole travel game super soon. So we're going to get you guys some cool travel stuff soon, which is where a lot of that Patreon money really, really, really helps when we do that because that costs yeah, it does. a pretty penny to go drive freaking places Gas. and find a place to stay and all Lodging. that jazz. So we super, super appreciate it and we're going to use it, put, like, put it to good use. Goodbye, guys. I am full of love.